to them. Good changeup, two and two. That changeup has always been a good pitch. Back to the change, and it's fouled off. Yeah, his changeup is, is kind of unique. Got him. That one kind of winded up, up and away, and Duran with kind of a... Simon Bichette, Espinel, and Gerford Barrios. And a strike taken by Alex. And a solid defender as well in defense. We'll talk about this as the, the night and the series move along. Defense rock solid. It's short, and that has been a big problem for them. How Let's important see. in your mind is that? Breaking ball fouled off. Hey, that's the kind of swing you want to see from a hitter right there. And again, you could see the movement on the fastball. Didn't get that one quite as far. And he got him to chase the ball down and in. Two down. Well, that's an interesting breaking. Counts to begin his night. And now here is Masataka Yoshida. And I mean, he was hits one up the middle just to the right. The pitch was going toward home. Now Rafael Devers gets an at bat with a man on and two down. He looks. But he's doing a very nice job with the men on base, runners in scoring position, and that's why even though some of the numbers are... I would think he's in consideration to wind up as a reserve on the All-Star team. So is Matt. It's Friday night. As Devers fouls it back. Well, you know what? I think the Blue Jay fans understand. To right field. He had him out in front at the play. And retire the a man left the... And Vladdy's been hot. Three homers, three doubles in his last six games. Right now for the Red Sox. This is his ninth start of the season. He was taken out of last Saturday. He came out of his last start. But he is throwing ball well. He's got good zip on his fastball. You know, there was... And these two guys very familiar with one another. Paxton a number of years in Seattle. Now Bo Bichette. This could be one of these. I'm going to establish my... That's kind of old school, Dan. Mm -hmm. Go out there and throw your fastball until they make you throw something else. <laughs> Bo's a great breaking ball. Yeah, and he's not afraid of getting Jay front. He can sit back. Could admire up there in the batter's box. That's a good sign for Vladdy and a great sign for the Blue Jays. Get ran back, jumps, and he made the fence. Play second. Same thing with the outfield. He said Merrifield said you never get the chance to make the spectacular plays, guys. He's had some tricky plays out there. Over the shoulder catches, dealing with the twilight, and um, ironically coming in, Jays have done it this year. Is if Witt's in the outfield, he's in left. If Biggio's in the outfield, he's in really helps them. Not having to go back and forth. Witt told me back in the spring, he said. Justin Turner, his first year with Barrios gets him up in the zone. Third strikeout already for Jose. Wasn't that long ago Bobby Dalbeck was the first baseman of the future for the Red Sox, but the, the, the... Cassis is interesting and in he's 23 years old. Two down and here's Christian Arroyo at second base for the Red Sox hitting 241 in the season. misses down and away and it's 2-0 and oh. one of just three righties in there rounded down to third right at Matt Chapman and right on the money with the throw a, a great day to come to the ballpark the Blue Jays are home every single Canada day that is not an accident it was Paxton I think the Blue Jays are fortunate Paxton's not pitching tomorrow <laughs> Paxton's a very plans to move back into the rotation. Uh, Corey Kluber was not pitching well. They put him on the uh, repair his fractured face. Boy, another good fastball, and he gets Chapman. Or no hitter on Canadian soil, and only the second Canadian-born pitcher to throw a no hitter for the Philadelphia A's. He had been away in the military for two and a half years. No hit the St. Louis Browns. Two and one now on Alejandro DHing. Paxton, a guy, unfortunately, boy, this guy's got a good arm. Right center, not deep.
We think he's in consideration to wind up as a reserve on the All-Star team. So is Matt. It's Friday night. As Devers fouls it back. Well, you know what? I think the Blue Jay fans understand. To right field. He had him out in front. And to play. And retire the man left. The and Vladdy's been hot. Three homers, three doubles in his last six games. Right now for the Red Sox. This is his ninth start of the season. He was taken out of last Saturday. He came out of his last start. But he is throwing ball well. He's got good zip on his fastball. You know, there was... And these two guys very familiar with one another. Paxton a number of years in Seattle. Now Bo Bichette. This could be one of these. I'm going to establish my... Fa That's kind of old school, Dan. Mm -hmm. Go out there and throw your fastball until they make you throw something else. <laughs> Bo's a great breaking ball. Yeah, and he's not afraid of getting Jay front. He can sit back. with Meyer up there in the batter's box. That's a good sign for Vladdy and a great sign for the Blue Jays. Get ran back, jumps, and he made the fence. Play second. Same thing with the outfield. He said, Merrifield said, you never get the chance to make the spectacular plays, guys. He's had some tricky plays out there. Over the shoulder catches, dealing with the twilight, and... Um, ironically, coming in, Jays have done it this year. Is if Witt's in the outfield, he's in left. If Biggio's in the outfield, he's in. Really helps them. Not having to go back and forth. Witt told me back in the spring. He said, Justin Turner, his first year with. Barrios gets him up in the zone. Third strikeout already for Jose. Wasn't that long ago Bobby Dalbeck was the first baseman of the future for the Red Sox, but the the, the Cassis is interesting and in he's 23 years old two down and here's Christian Arroyo at second base for the Red Sox hitting 241 in the season Arroyo's misses down and away and it's two and oh One of just three righties in there Rounded down to third. Right at Matt Chapman. And right on the money with the throw. A, a great day to come to the ballpark. The Blue Jays are home every single Canada Day. That is not an accident. It was Paxton. I think the Blue Jays are fortunate Paxton's not pitching tomorrow. <laughs> Paxton's a very plans to move back into the rotation. Uh, Corey Kluber was not pitching well. They put him on the uh, eye. Repair his fractured face. Boy, another good fastball, and he gets Chapman. Or no hitter on Canadian soil, and only the second Canadian born pitcher to throw a no hitter for the Philadelphia A's. He had been away in the military for two and a half years. No hit the St. Louis Browns. 2 and 1 now on Alejandro DHing. Paxton, a guy, unfortunately, boy, this guy's got a good arm. Right center, not deep. 